Hi, this is John Cole with DiscountJuicers.com. Today I have another exciting episode for you, and my life is full of fruit, especially today. It's full of citrus fruit, because what we're going to do for you guys today is actually have another juice off. I love my juice offs to compare two different juicers to see which one will reign supreme. And today, we got the battle of the citrus juicers. So, you know, we got the standard citrus reamer here that kind of you turn on, usually goes rrr, rrr, rrr. This one's actually a lot more quiet. We got the Omega C10 commercial juicer. This is actually NSF certified for use in restaurants and juice bars. But guess what? You could also use it in your home. Over on this side, we have the Olympus juicer, and this is a press style juicer. So on the press, there is no electricity required, and this will build your muscles, so you'll be as strong as I am, because you got to, you know, literally press out and squeeze out the juice. So today, what we're going to show you guys is actually juicing about three pounds of Valencia oranges in each machine. Now, before I get started with the actual juice off, I want to talk more about the citrus fruits. There's many different kinds of citrus fruits, from you know, lemons and limes to oranges and grapefruits and tangerines. And yes, both these machines will juice all those, but you know, uh, one machine may juice some better than the others. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, talk more about this. Uh, basically, how the press works is that this press comes down and literally you put the orange here and you squeeze the juice out of the orange, the grapefruit, the tangerine, or whatever you're going to be juicing. I have a specific video on how to use this machine properly if you need to refer to that video to learn more specifically about this machine. But this one generally works with skins that are about that thick. That being said, the Valencia orange, or also sometimes called Texas oranges or juice oranges, um, are the perfect kind of orange to juice because they're the juiciest. We have over here some navel oranges, and how do you know the difference between a navel and a Valencia? Number one, the color is usually darker than number two. It has a little belly button thing or a little navel, kind of like if you look at your belly button, it's kind of a little navel. And these guys actually don't have that. Now, the navel oranges are definitely better for eating instead of juicing, but you can juice them, but they're not going to work as well, get as much juice out as the Valencias will. In addition, today on the table, we have some uh, grapefruits, and the grapefruits will also juice. Now, if you are juicing grapefruits in the press, you want to get a smaller diameter grapefruit because the super large ones, you're going to almost have to cut in quarters and then juice. And once again, that's described in the specific video on the Olympus uh, Citrus Press. There also is a little brother to the Olympus, it's called the Jupiter, and basically it works identical, it has the same press cone, the only thing is that it's a little bit shorter. Next, we're going to get into the actual juice off and juice these Valencia oranges right up. Before I do, uh, I want to let you know that both machines do not come with any kind of catch container. So the catch container that I prefer to use is something like just a standard wide mouth mason jar. It'll actually fit right uh, nice underneath there and catch all our juice and it's going to actually fit almost perfectly underneath this machine to catch all our juice. And this way you can juice up to 32 ounces without stopping in one shot. And uh, you know, so you have a lot of fresh citrus juice. Like to me, 32 ounces is like, I'll drink that in one sitting. So we're going to juice these Valencia oranges and I thought long and hard about how to make this the most fair. So I'm going to basically cut one orange and we're going to try to cut it almost exactly in half, the best of my ability. And we're going to go ahead and put like one orange on each side so that we're going to juice the same exact oranges about the same size in each of the juicers. Now what you're going to notice in each of these juicers, they each have their pros and cons. Obviously the electric one uses electricity and the other one, the Olympus, does not. So if your power goes out, guess what? It's probably better to have the Olympus uh, than the electric model. Uh, I am biased. I will tell you that up front. I actually prefer the Olympus over the electric one, to me, it's just a lot more quicker, faster, and more efficient. Uh, one of the downsides of the uh, citrus press here on this side is that some people say that you can extract the bitter rind oils out of the rind. And this is absolutely true. So what you need to remember is, you know, you control the pressure on the press. You don't just have to always go down and crank it to the maximum. You might go down and go this way until you feel some resistance because if you crank the extra way, that's when you're going to get the bitter rind oil. Uh, with the citrus ring, you don't really have that problem because it's not really pressing out uh, the, the juice or the oils from the skin because it's only just reaming out the middle. 
Now the last thing I want to talk about is actually uh, when you are using these kind of citrus juicers, in my opinion, you're making an orange water because you're literally just getting the uh, water out of the orange and you're not juicing the most valuable part, which is the part with the white pith. That's where most of the bioflavonoids are. If you are interested in juicing the white pith and getting the most nutrition out of your oranges, then please check my other videos on YouTube. I compare the Olympus uh, to an Omega Vert juicer. That will allow you to get all the nutrition out of the orange instead of just the orange water uh, like we are doing today. Uh, so I guess pretty much this is the last orange we're cutting in half and uh, we're all ready and set to uh, juice. Now we're going to get juicing. Uh, we're going to go ahead and first use the Omega C10 juicer and this is representative of other citrus style machines. We're going to turn this on. This runs at a low 150 RPMs. I'm going to go ahead and put the orange in there and just let it get reamed out and as it's reaming I'm going to kind of press in a little bit to the orange and make sure we get all that delicious juice coming out and as you can see we got the juice flowing and uh, here's the peel and I want you guys to pay attention that's pretty dry in there I want you guys to pay attention to the time I'm just going to run this no matter what and as uh, you can actually see how long it takes the juice in this machine and that machine One of the things I'm noticing immediately is in this machine as I'm juicing, uh, there's a little uh, stainless steel screen that catches all of uh, like the pulp. And there's a lot of pulp being left on the actual stainless steel screen. So some juicers may produce more pulp in your juice than others. And that may be something you like or something you dislike. Uh, when I generally use the uh, press, it, makes very little pulp in my juice, but it also depends on the quality of the oranges you're using or the citrus you're using. I always encourage you guys to get the freshest citrus as possible to juice because you're just going to get the better results. When you go to the store to pick up an orange to buy it, you know, you're going to want to get one that's heavy for its weight. If you pick up one the same size and one's lighter, one's heavier, get the heavier ones because they're more juicy on the inside. Some grocery stores actually may sell you old oranges or, or old citrus that's kind of like more dried out inside. Those aren't going to have a lot of juice and they're not going to juice as well. All right, so we're almost done, about half done juicing these oranges. Once again, this is about three uh, pounds of oranges in the Omega C10 juicer. Some of these oranges are actually uh, more juicy than others, so they're going to juice a little bit better than the others. And yeah, this is going actually pretty fast. I got just uh, three more oranges to juice after this one. Now what you're going to notice is that the juice is flowing a lot slower out of this machine now than it did when I just started because if you were my eyes and looking at what I'm looking at, the reamer is doing an efficient job of reaming out the actual orange, but it's actually leaving a lot of the juice and the pulp to clog up the mesh in the stainless steel screen, so it's actually not really coming out. I mean. There's a lot of juice in here, but it's not coming out yet, so I might have to, you know, uh, I don't know, twizzle it around my finger to try to get it to come out. All right, so we have uh, la two last oranges here. Once again, I'll maybe try to shake this guy and see if that'll help to get some orange juice flowing. Orange juice is America's favorite fruit juice, but aside just juicing your oranges, I want to encourage you guys to juice other fruits, and, but more importantly, the vegetables. Vegetables have more nutrition in it, believe it or not, than the fruits, but you know what? Most people eat more fruits and juice more fruits because they taste a lot better. All right, this is the last orange in the Omega C10. And look, that's nice and reamed out. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. Now we're gonna go ahead and take this protective guard out. This is just a splash guard. And I don't know if I can show you this, but man, literally in here, this is like full, this is totally full of like juice that's not going uh, into the spout because the uh, screen is full of pulp. So that's definitely a pain in the uh, you know what. Let's go ahead and that's not going to help. So we're just going to go ahead and kind of put my fingers in there to do this. And this is to me really inconvenient. And I don't like doing it. <laughs> Man, this is getting really messy here. So I guess we're just going to let this sit a while and maybe I'll take this up and oh, there we go. That's a solution. We're just going to go ahead and rock this back and forth. But you can see in here, there's a lot of pulp and a lot of juice that's just not flowing through. Maybe they could change the design of this strainer cone to let more of the juice through. Or maybe they could design the, uh, the cone a little bit differently. 
But uh, if you want to add this back into the juice, this is probably a good juicer for you, but it's not separating out the pulp too well, and I'm not liking that too much either. All right, so with a little canageling, <laughs> canageling, oh man, well look, we got some big pulp pieces of pulp actually coming into our juice as well. Not too good. Maybe I'll also end up straining this juice out too because uh, this is not going to be a fair uh, comparison because of all the pulp that's actually getting into the juice there. All right, so yeah, we got some uh, significant large chunks of pulp when I was uh, trying to get all the juice out of the Omega C10. Next, let's go ahead and juice in the Olympus juicer. And what we're going to do to do that is we're going to turn the juicer because normally on the Olympus C10, you should be facing it, so it's going to be on the edge of your counter, and uh, you're going to use this uh, kind of like in this direction, going like this, uh, because I'm making the video, it's a little bit awkward for me, so we're going to actually turn it to the side so you can actually see the, uh, the machine work a little bit. Now we're going to juice in the, in the Olympus press, it's very easy to use, you're just going to take your orange and center it up on the cone and press this down. And some people might want to be the muscle man and press this all the way down and like, oh, I can get it to the base and like snap it in there. Now, if you're doing this, you're going to get some of the bitter rind oil into your juice, so I don't necessarily recommend it. Sometimes when you pull it up, it'll get stuck, and I mean, this orange is also so dry. I'm going to take the next one and put it on there. Now, we're not going to go all the way down and crank it down. We're just going to go down most of the way, and you can feel the resistance, and that way you're going to get all the juice out without the bitter rind oil. As you can see, I can literally crank through this. There's no electric motors whirring. It's a lot quieter and really easy to use. The one thing I would recommend is that when you store this machine, you always store with the handle down because if this thing comes and maybe falls on your head, that wouldn't be a pretty sight. This thing's working nice and well. Uh, if you do want to do something like tangerines in this machine, you might want to juice one tangerine and then uh, you're going to take the skin like this and actually uh, juice the second one and then put the extra skin on top to make it a little bit thicker so that they'll juice more effectively. All right, this is working really fast and really easy. It's again, the Olympus Citrus Press. I prefer this method a lot more. It just seems a little more uh, quicker to use. The other thing is that on the Olympus Citrus Press, there's only literally two parts to clean. You have the uh, juicing cone and the stainless steel body. On uh, this machine over on this side, you got the bowl. You got three parts to clean. Plus, you have a lot more surface area. This one, as long as you rinse it off right after you're done juicing, you're all set and ready to go. Rinses off nice, quickly, and easily. So as you can see, we're getting down to the last uh, few oranges. But so far, it looks like the C10 actually has a lot more yield, but we're going to strain this juice out. All right, last orange in the Olympus Citrus Press. Alright, so as you can see, it was a lot quicker to juice in the Olympus Citrus Press. I like to spin this guy a little bit, because I'll get some leftover juice and we'll pour this guy out right in the container. Just finished in the Olympus Citrus Press and the Omega C10 Citrus Juicer. We're going to go ahead and take our measuring cups and uh, strain our juice and also measure to see which juicer will reign supreme in the yield. As you saw, the Olympus Press uh, actually was a lot quicker uh, when it worked. So if you want to save time and use no electricity, this is the one for you. Uh, as to the yield, let's find that out right now. I'm gonna go ahead and pour this juice right through. And there's not a whole lot of pulp in the juice to be said. Yes, there's a little bit, but not a whole lot. I'm gonna go ahead and let that drain out a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the juice made out of the uh, Omega C10. Man, this is, this is really pulpy. I mean, this is almost like a smoothie instead of a juice. We're going to have to sit there and shake this down through the seed. So the uh, yield is definitely um, misleading here. Lots of freaking pulp in here. Man, that's a lot of pulp. This guy, we're going to go ahead and shake down a bit more. And it looks like we pretty much strained out all the pulp out of the Olympus, and there's and maybe like one tablespoon of pulp, not a whole lot of pulp for juicing three pounds of citrus. And look at this, this one's still full of pulp here. I don't even know if I'll be able to straighten this stuff out because it's clogged all the holes pretty good. Now let's go ahead and pour the rest of this juice and see what we got. All right, that's 
the last of the juice. Now I just got to strain it out some more. Just like use a little shaking action to try to get through the holes. And this is kind of a pain in the butt. I mean, if you want the pulp, maybe this is the machine for you. As to the yield, uh, we're going to see what happens when I'm done straining. All right, I think we got it all strained out. And man, that was a lot of work. As you can see, this is the pulp difference. There's significantly more pulp uh, from the Omega C10 juicer. As to the uh, yield, let's take a look at that next here. Let's see, on the uh, Olympus Citrus Press, we got straight up about two and a half cups of juice. And on the C10, we got about, uh, man, a little bit above two and a half cups of juice. Now let's go ahead and taste the juice, because I don't know about you, but I can definitely see a difference in the color. The Olympus Citrus Juice, or made of juice, it's a little bit lighter shade, so maybe that's because there still is just not quite as much pulp. So we're going to taste it for the mouthfeel. Wow. That tastes so sweet, it tastes like that tang instant drink that I used to have as a kid. Now, tang is not juice. This is 100% juice, and this will give you all the nutrition that the orange will provide. This time, let's try the Omega C10 juice. Mmm. It's definitely good. There's definitely a little bit more texture in there, if you know what I mean. Like, you feel some of that pulp that still got through the strainer. I mean, because I was shaking this down pretty good, and some of it must have been forced through the strainer, whereas in the Olympus, you know, it didn't really have any pulp to get strained through there in the first place. So in terms of sheer yield, I actually have to say the C10 did quite well, but it was definitely a pain because all the pulp clogged up and I had to strain it out. You know, for sheer ease of use, I'm going to have to give this juice off contest to the Olympus. You cut it in half, you press it out, no electricity, saves you money, use it in the dark, use it in the middle of a forest, use it in the middle of an orange grove. Really simple, real easy. The yield was a little bit less but a lot nicer mouthfeel to me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode learning more about the different juicers that will juice the citrus. Once again, the press and the reamer style. Once again, my name is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for our YouTube visitors. This is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Today I have another exciting episode for you and my life is full of fruit, especially today. It's full of citrus fruit. Because what we're going to do for you guys today is actually have another juice off. I love my juice offs to compare two different juicers to see which one will reign supreme. And today, we got the battle of the citrus juicers. So, you know, we got the standard citrus reamer here that kind of you turn on, usually goes rrr, rrr, rrr. This one's actually a lot more quiet. We got the Omega C10 commercial juicer. This is actually NSF certified for use in restaurants and juice bars. But guess what? You can also use it in your home. Over on this side, we have the Olympus juicer, and this is a press-style juicer. So on the press, there is no electricity required, and this will build your muscles, so you'll be a strong